Well, this up here on the screen right now is um, it running in a virtual machine is, is Slackware. This is Slackware. It's uh, XFCE desktop and it's an older version of, uh, in fact, the message came up and said this is very old and you should, you know, upgrade your, upgrade your XFCE, I guess. But I mean, it's running in VirtualBox, so I'm not going to do that probably. And I just wanted to, to try it out, I guess. And what I learned is that uh, it has a reputation of being very hard to install, but it's not extremely hard to install. It, it is, you have to know how to do partitions, or you have to figure out how to do t partitions. But, you know, on a virtual machine, I wasn't too stressed out about that. And um, it looks very old school. I mean, I when I was younger, I had some of the old um, Radio Shack computers, TRS-80 we had in the house many 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 years ago and it looks a lot of the installation reminds me of some of the different how that looked at least it reminds me of how it looked you know back in back in that day this was back in oh, the 80s maybe maybe the 80s yeah so the thing about slackware that uh, people should know ahead of time is um, the, that the applications the software it's hard to add new software you can't just go to like a package manager like a well you can go to that has a package manager you can't find much in there when you look and it's all done through the command line too but you can't pull up a graphical thing like synaptic or the software center with ubuntu or whatever what have you you can't do that and even when you do the package um manager you're going to find there's not a lot of stuff that you can get. You have to go out to, uh, in, to other places and find. And um, it just is a difficult thing to do. I mean, I suppose I could have added more software. It might be another project that if I feel motivated enough. I don't particularly feel motivated enough to do it, though, right now. I'm sure it's something that might even end up being fun and I'd be able to do. But I don't know. There's so many distributions that have, you, it's become so common to be able just to go to the Synaptic or whatever package manager and pull up the, um, you know, graphically pull up the, the software and just select it. To, you know, it seems like a long way to go when you're using uh, Slackware. It's old school. And here you can see this is the menu. There's some applications that has things, you know, the us some of them are usual, mostly usual, you know, type stuff. And, you know, anyway, that is Slackware.